Dear Christopher, here is your friend Thomas the Tank Engine. He wanted to come out of his station yard and see the world. These stories tell you how he did it. I hope you will like them because you helped me to make them. Your loving daddy. Who's that puffing down the track? It's Thomas. Hello, Thomas. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the island of Sodor. Hey, what's up everybody? This is Dan 55 and I'm okay, Buster Steam on here. Yeah? And we're here at Drayton Manor, where the home of Thomas Land is, you know. But I know some people already posted uh, videos of uh, Thomas Land, including an exhibition where TV series models were here, you know, to be displayed. So we're just going in to have some fun. We're just nearing Thomas Land. Now we're gonna look to see what it's like, shall we? Ah, uh, yes. Emily's Adventure Play Area. Looks like I'm not going there. This might be for kids. Alright. Well, it's not a bad thing for kids, but it's not for me, you know. No, I'm too old for that. I see a nap at station. Well, there's Cranky the Crane. He's having his own ride, you know. Oh, look who's behind. Oh, some of you fans, maybe guests. If you're correct, it's a lady. And there. Uh, the diesels, right? Look at that. Diesel locomotion move. Yeah. See what it's like. There you go. That was the area of work. Diesel and salty. And Dennis. Da, da, da. This is Thomas Land, where Thomas Vans comes along. You know? Oh, look at that. Let's see what it takes. There was a stage show. That was Helly Tor.
Dutch, I say. Hello. You must be Sir Topper Man. It's lovely to meet you, young man. Oh, you thank have a you. nice name. Ah, my name's Daniel Coffey, and 18 years old, I'm still liking Thomas Tang Engine from years ago to up to today. Well, I'm so glad. Yeah, me too. And I also like the Railway Series book. You know the your yes. famous creator, that's uh, Reverend W. Audrey. Yes, indeed. Yeah, he is a good creator. And is this your first visit to Thomas Land? Yes, it is my first visit, actually. And I just Splendid. Yes, and I just saw the Thomas commercial from 2008, especially on the one of Thomas DVDs I got. Oh! Well, I found it it's really good. It makes me wishing to go there, and today it is comes true, isn't it? Well, I'm so glad you came. Uh, now, you go and enjoy yourself and find some fun. Well, There's yes. Lots to find. I expect so, yeah. See who you can meet. All right? Yeah. I shall see you later on. And uh, thank you. Toot, toot. Yeah, toot, toot. <laughs> bye, nice bye. to meet you, Sir Topham. Lovely to meet you, young man. And. Uh, dry whales and good running on the railway. That was a good meeting I did made with uh, Sir Top and Hat, the back controller. Uh, we did make a good short conversation, so. What a gentleman. Now let's take a look at you know who, who is always green and small and is a member of a family on the railway. He's Percy. Let's take a look at a closer look. Hey there, Percy. This is where Percy is going to be turned on the turntable. All right. You can may hear at the uh, music of you know what while well, Percy has been on the turntable. Yes, you guessed it. It's a season eight theme song. Hello again, Percy. Bye, Percy. Ah, nineteen forty five. That is where Thomas and Friends, over sixty years old, as we know, now it's going to be a uh, sixty five years old. <laughs> oh, I can see Rosie in the sheds, look. Do you mind if I go and see the engines around the shed? Yeah. Oh, thank you. There are lots of engines around the shed. Ah, oh, there's Henry. Ah, look, there's James, needing some rest. Quiet, please. Tired engine resting. Oh, I must keep him awake. Oh, yes. It's a tram engine, Toby. Ah, yes. There's old Bullstrode. Having his own ride, too. Ah, that's back controller again. Hey, sir. Let's take a look around. Thomas Land Shop. Hey. 
You mind if I take a look at this? Let's go inside the shop. Fascinating. Not bad. It's a must have for the fans. Ah, interesting. Names for people. Interesting. I wish you could have one with my name. Uh, platform track. Now, homely models. I got those Tom CD ROMs. Interesting. Great Waterton. You know, that was a great discovery. Let's look at more of a shop. Weef. Uh, uh, ah. You could hardly hear his voice. Ah, Murdoch. Hello, I'm Murdoch. The bus controller is relying on me. I love peace and quiet. You sure do, loving peace and quiet. Now for Molly. Oh. Hey there. My name is Molly, and I have the right to be our I How's it over there? Let's look around at the bottom. Got lots of DVDs. You know, some of types. DVDs like these. I did show you another collection, but apart from some of the DVDs, only have a hit entertainment logo. DVD rack. Hmm, interesting. Uh, not bad. Oh, what do you know? It's Thomas over there. That's enough for looking at that shop. Interesting shop. Ah, uh, yes, the farm. It's a good shop. I looked around. Yep. Oh, yes, my name. Oh, oh, it's a happy birthday. Never mind. Oh, it's actually a birthday card. Let's take a look at more of the engines in the shed. Will you this week? 
Edward. Steady old Edward. Hello. Hey, Rosie. Classic cars. I've never seen those before. Ah, oh, look. You can see you know who on the footbridge. So, top on hat and one of the stations is that. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Oh, uh, hello Topham. Hello again. Do you mind if I get a look good to you? Oh, of course not. I heard there was a song about you, you know? So I know, it's very good, isn't it? Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's like we don't want to keep James awake. He needs some rest after all this hard work. <laughs> We're just watching Thomas depart to Farmer McCall's farm, I expect. Here he goes! Ah oh, yes, the guard blow his whistles and Thomas depart. See you again, Sir Topham. Hey there, Thomas! Off he goes, round through the bends and into the tunnel. Ah yes, that cranky ride starts. Ah, naughty troublesome trucks, roller coaster. There goes Thomas. Whoa! What a naughty little rascals. Ah, 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 ah. Can't catch us, can't catch us. We're naughty drugs and drugs, eh? You know? Jolly good. Looks like a boat is swinging around and it's bull's road. Alright. See, I'm right. That's the end of the tunnel. Alright. Now, this is going great so far, that's the, just to let you know. Well, I'm just having a great time in uh, one of the rides called the uh, G-Force, and it's... Ugh, it's not a Thomas Land related, but uh, who cares? We're just having some fun in other rides, as well as uh, looking around the Thomas Land. <laughs> but now we're just going past the, the Drayton Manor Zoo, which is where we were passing a zoo and then we went into a Farmer McCall's farm. That's where we were going to see Thomas TV series models in an exhibition. It's called the Discover Thomas and Friends Exhibition. I know that some of you uh, fans may have seen some of videos of the exhibition on the, either YouTube, but you're gonna see this one because it's in better quality. Or well, good quality, but it doesn't matter. Anyways, enjoy the view of the exhibition, which is recorded by me. Oh, we're on our way. Just take a look at these monkeys, which is called uh, Lair Gibbon. Lair Gibbons are silly, crazy monkeys who are always hanging around in the cages and trees and ropes and something like that. Look, they're always making silly noises, something like this. Now, let's continue to discover Thomas of Rainer's Confession, shall we? Before we go any further, there is a short bridge. And there's a waterfall. And it looks like a Donald Duck Dilly who is having a looking for food in the water. Apart from he has a different color. Well, actually, he originally white. White. You know, that's uh, from Donald Duck who is named Dilly. Good luck finding the food, Dilly. We were now at Farmer McCall's farm. 
And this is where the animals is at his farm. There were sheep, cows and goats, and owls and anything like that. And also, there's a playground to the farm, which is named Spencer's Activity Park. Uh, I'm not going in there. It's just for kids, I know. As well as at Emily's Adventure Play Area. But let's take a good look at the playground. See the children having some fun? Enjoying themselves, aren't they? And there's a wooden model of Spencer. Not bad. Maybe he enjoyed himself at the farm too. It used to be a snotty engine, but now he's enjoying a playground. Now that's the station the farmer McCall's farm, I expect. Hey, there's Thomas again. Hello. No, it's just my brother laughing because he's just like he's an idiot. No offense. And there it is. We're almost to uh, discover Thomas exhibition. There's the sign. Sorry, it's a bit shaky. We go back in the train. Mm -hmm. We're going back, huh? Mm hmm. Is that a good idea? Yeah, you're right. It has I less queue. Oh, yes. I knew it. This is where we were. Farmer McCall's farm. Ah, uh, doesn't Farmer McCall's also have flamingos? Ah, interesting. He has the flamingos. They're pink birds with standing on one leg. <laughs> nice farmer the farmer calls. Half? I wish I could meet a farmer himself. Ladies and gentlemen, engines, boys and girls, and Thomas fans all around the world. This is what we're waiting for. Oh, wait until the tree branch gets out of the way. Here it is. Discover Thomas and Friends Exhibition. Interesting picture of uh, Thomas, Edward, Percy, Bertie, Harold, Henry, Gordon, Mavis, Robinson, Truck, and Toby. This is it, people. It's time to go in. And let's on, and let's on reveal the secret. Here we are. Looks like he's finally been seen from making cameos in the television. Hello, Butch. Uh, Tom Tipper's fan. Ghostman Pat. Well, Tom Tipper's always up in early in the morning. And there was the postman Tipper himself. There I am selling books on the streets. Ah, oh, that's uh, Ben. Reminds me of your name. There is Thomas and Rosie and Toby at Great Water Turn. There's a tower, which is where it, it's usually collapsed. That's where Stanley's trucks crash into a tower. Remember that? The engines gasped as Stanley's train came racing down the hill. Smashed into the tower. As the tower crashed to the ground, bricks and dust exploded everywhere. All the hard work was wasted. And that's Thomas carrying the mail, and there's Rosie. I think she's having a conversation. That reminds me of one episode in particular. Thomas didn't want to let Alice down. 
High winds don't bother me, he puffed. Or me, chuffed Rosie. I'll come as your back engine. But Thomas didn't want Rosie to come. No, thank you, Rosie, he huffed firmly. I can do it on my own. And he chuffed quickly away. But Rosie liked Thomas very much, and she wanted to help, so she chuffed naughtily after him. There is Duchess of Boxford and Alicia Botti. Looks like Bulgy is finally back to his original looks. He looks different from the Series 7 episodes as, uh, you know, what it is. Bulgy is happy now. He has new green paintwork and a smart serving hatch. The Fat Controller agreed he could become the island's only vegetable stand on wheels. Bulgy likes carrying vegetables. They don't lay eggs. And they never complain. Trevor, the traction engine. Looks like he's drawing himself around Great Waterton. Oh well, looks like Toad has no face. No mind. Edward? Hello, Edward. Oh, that's Terrence. He's usually having a smile in the TV series and the books. He's always up with a smile on that old Terrence. Step near the blue engine, carrying an old tractor. Does this look familiar? I mean, that's a brass water wheel. That's from a steady Eddie. Oh, steady Eddie, you know. Strawberry truck. And there's three milk trucks. And there's a harbor. Let's not forget about Harvey. Vegetables. Reminds me of one episode where, you know, that's where one of the animals, like sheep, was at stations and collecting vegetables. Next morning, Percy was proud to be sparkling again. His train of trucks were being loaded with vegetables and flowers. These are for Maithwaite, said his driver. They'll display them on the platform. And went to a siding where no one could see him. Time for a snooze, he thought. But it wasn't. We'd better see what all that noise is about, said his driver. Percy was shocked. Flowers, fruit and vegetables were scattered everywhere. It's that ram. He's made a meal of the station too. Take a look around. After this, I'll be taking pictures before we go. Oh, look, you can guess who's in the beach carrying smells of fish. Bulstrode. Fish trucks. I think I remember that one episode with fish trucks. The trucks were heavy and smelly, 
but Thomas was pleased his job would soon be over. But then the troublesome trucks decided to have some fun. The trucks wiggled and they giggled. They made Thomas's journey very bumpy. Some of the fish were shaken loose. Yuck! Thomas gasped. I wish I'd have taken fewer trucks. Blobs Cove. It's a good name station. I remember that name. Ruin Castle. There are horses around the Ruin Castle. Ah, oh, look. Farmer McCall himself and his sheepdog. So he has to take care of his sheep with his sheepdog. Hey Up, what's that sheep doing at the cliff? You shouldn't be going near the cliffs, this might be dangerous. It might fall into a, the valley below. You know, animals can be really dangerous at the edge of the mountains. Interesting view of a bridge, like a fire duct. Oh, there's a little tunnel. That's uh, beside that fire duct. Dryer station. It's not usually this station, you know, that's one with uh, aeroplanes and helicopters, but now this is a station where it only has a castle. And a horrid lorry. Well, without face. You know, that was after Howard Lowry's episode. You know, Dad, after the filming, I'll be taking lots of pictures before we move on, if that's okay. That's perfect, Daniel. If that's alright with you. That's perfect with me. Alright. Alright. Sea store or something. There's a canal boat. And another mad sheep at the top of the mountain. Huh? Uh. No, not a sh flock of sheep. I remember one animal we just featured in the episode. You may know one. A few. Soon Duncan approached a level crossing where Elizabeth, the quarry lorry, waited with a farmer's prize bull. This time, Duncan whistled as loud and as long as he could. <laughs> said the bull. Stop that nonsense, Duncan, Elizabeth called. But Duncan carried on cheerfully down the track. I remember, uh, what's the farmer's name? Farmer's name, yes, it's Farmer McComb. And, the, and he said, let's get the flock out of here. Oh yes, them flock of sheep, you mean? Flock of sheep. It's like uh, we have another farmer so taking care of his animals too. <laughs> there is a bridge, which is a. You may know this bridge, which is from. The feature length special, The Great Discovery, that's where it collapsed. Sadly. Thomas was now halfway across the bridge. The sound of the falling rocks was louder and louder. The bridge had started to shudder and shake. Thomas didn't like it at all, but he wanted to get to the other side. Then Thomas heard a mighty crack. Part of the bridge in front of him came away from the rocks. Thunders and ashes, cried Thomas. I must get back to safety. He was very scared. Then Thomas started to reverse. He puffed slowly and carefully. Then there was another mighty crack. A large piece of the broken bridge fell down into the ravine below. The biggest puff he had ever huffed, Thomas pushed backwards onto the hillside. I'm safe, he cried. Just as the last part of the bridge groaned and swung over the deep ravine.
Thomas peered down to the broken bridge below. Oh, flat my funnel, he gasped. It's a vintage old lorry, Elizabeth. Good morning, Elizabeth. Carrying rocks, I see. You may recognize this windmill from Series 5. And there's a blue tractor, as it can be seen in various episodes. If you don't know this tractor, I'll show you some shots. Suddenly, a tractor trundled across Duncan's line. Look out! shouted his driver. What a lovely exhibition it is. Yep, I started to like it. And it uh, brings great memories for their fans, older and younger. I like that exhibition most of all. Did you? Oh, yep. I did take lots of pictures. Good. Yeah. <laughs> Can we go? Yes, to get the train back. Just to see the fat controller show, I think. Yeah. It's soon to be starting at one. What did the farmer say? This is interesting, which is for, for people who are thirsty and Hungry, you will come to the right place. This is Kindly's Tea Room. Oh, and here comes an engine. Let's get into the train. Who could that be? Oh, you may guess who it is. You already know. <laughs> Alright, we're going to get a platform and we'll go on the train. Trains to Napford. We're just taking pic the video of where Thomas has been spun round on the turntable turn table before we leave to depart to the back to Napford. Oh yes, time to move on. To get in the carriages. Ah, there is Thomas spinning on the turntable before depart. I wonder what. I wonder what carriage where we going. Or pull us back. He can change the platform. I'll sit over there. Okay. This is the life. Ah uh, yes, yeah, so I up. You can see the truck there. Oh, here comes Thomas. Oh yeah. Here comes Thomas. Oh, Hello, Thomas. Beep beep. Ah, oh, there's a driver waving. And Thomas blew his whistle before a couple of the coaches. I thought a coach is called Annie and Claire, but, you know. Yeah, yeah. Hey, look, there's some ostriches. Much. Look. There they are. It's like wildest Africa. Uh, Dad tells me to film them ostriches. They're animals. You know. You go for the other side, don't you? In the middle of. Here you go. Just the way we're leaving, and we're on the way back to Napford Station. This is where we soon to be, be depart, back to Napford Station, and you can hear the theme song, Series Eight, which is different from the original theme. I know I did prefer the original theme, but the Series Eight theme is okay. That was my personal opinion about Series 8. Hey, did I see Pooh Bear there? Ah, oh, yes, there is Winnie the Pooh. Where? I see Winnie the Pooh. Where? Over there. It's like a puppy. 
A little girl holding uh, the toy of Pooh Bear or something. Oh, right. <laughs> oh a boy. Yeah. You need to come here. It's absolutely brilliant. Hi, <laughs> oh, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Oh, it's not. That's <laughs> fine. That's fine. That's fine. It's the last log around that Mama McCall's farm. Oh, yes. Off we go. Oh, beep beep. <laughs> beep beep. <laughs> We're just traveling back to the nap because almost on the side. On our way back, we see lots of interesting things around here. Another fat controller show coming right up. Back to Thomas Land, as I say. And this is my own another show of fat controller stars. Oh yes, too late. Never mind. Oh wait. Ah, oh, never mind.
much. It's just in time. time. How long did everybody gather around the turntable? It's showtime on the island of Sodor. All aboard to leave the station of Thomas in on his plans. Crossing down the shiny railway track meant to the never end. The engines of the Sodor Railway are there. busy day today, and I need all the help I can get. We're here to help. Oh, splendid, splendid. Well, hello down there. Are hello. you all having a lovely day here on the yes. magical island of Sodor? Yes! Oh, splendid. Well, you all know who I am. There's That's... some of my friends here who would like to introduce themselves. Hello. My name is Victoria, and I am the station mistress. I'm here to make sure the station is running right on time. Oh, splendid. Now, Victoria, is Bedford Station all spick and span? Oh, yes, the top of it all shining and gleaming. Oh, wonderful, just as it should be. And hello, who are you? Well, my name's Emma, and I'm also the station mistress. Oh. But I'm here to help you, Sir Topham Hutt. Well, Emma, that's very, very kind of you. But we've so much to do. We need all of you to help too. Will you help us? Yes. Then you'll all be our very best friends. Clap those hands. Friends are there to help you through your problems. Friends are there to be right by your side. Together, forever, whatever, the weather to share is clear. A problem to share is a problem solved. And that's why friends are there. Trust in your friends to keep your secrets. Shh. Trust in your friends to keep you strong. You're never on your own. You'll never be alone. A friendship strong and true. A friendship's me and you. Friends are there to help you through your problems. Hello! Hello! You and me sit side by side. It's time for us all to practice our toot tooting. So, on the three, nice and loud. One, two, three. Toot! Friends are there to help you through your problems. Friends are there to be right by your side. Together, forever, whatever the weather, to share and to care. Everybody, very, very good. Now time and really reliable. 
I just hope our new recruit, Rosie, will be just the same. I'm not too sure about Percy, though. Perhaps Percy's filling it another set up from him. Oh, yes, Victoria, perhaps. What could we do to make Percy fail at all? No, I don't know. Oh. I know we can get all the boys and girls to help. Oh, yes, Victoria, splendid idea. Whenever the boys and girls see Percy, they should all shout out, Nice and loud, a great big toot toot. Percy, you like that? Can you do that, boys and girls? Toot toot! Now oh, they have all the really useful little engines and very good friends. Oh, we do love it when you join in. So clap those hands and watch out for the action. Here we go. If you want to start the answer, see what a problem that you've got. Or you need a hand to help remember all that you forgot. If you're your own time and trouble, I'm just standing what you say. And bring them here to Thomas and have a really good day. Oh. <laughs> Here we go, watch out for the actions. So, for instance, the place the chimneys go. It's down in history. Imagine this, you have a place for the fun to see. Thomas Hunt was a friend who's playing in to me. Thomas Hunt strike the band and play the song for me. Play the drums, marching on, it's fun for you and me. It's easy as can be. So, remember when you're busy and you see the lots to do. Have to listen carefully so you know just what to do. Just think about my friends and I will sing this special song. Friends us on a railway, the fun will carry on. <laughs> so the rain's the place the chimneys go. It's down in history. A magic place, a kind of place full of fun to see. Thomas Hearn, for some friend is very mean to me. Thomas Hearn, strike the bird and play the song with me. Play the drums, marching on, it's fun for you and me. It's easy as yeah. Thomas, here we go! Thomas, Thomas, friends with you and me. Oh, yeah. Enjoy the day at Thomas Land. Give a hand and a hand. A magic day at Thomas Land. Enjoy yourselves! <laughs> well done, everybody. Well done. You are all in. Enjoy the rest of your day in Thomas Land. You can meet all the characters you have seen on stage right here at Drayton Manor, the home of Thomas Land. Well, we've had lots and lots of fun. Do you, you, again, have fun there? Yes, you know what I think we should do it all again at half past three? Oh, that's a good idea. great shows that happen. You know, I had a great time at the exhibition and I've been oh, there just the first time. Yes, oh, I'm fine. Uh, and the exhibition was just brings me back to my good memories, you know, of a model series it's before oh, yeah, the yes. CGI, you know. Did you like uh, Great Waterton? Yes, it is really good. fantastic. Yep, in its original paint and color. Yes, indeed. Yeah. Well, I'm sure you'll go back later on to have another look. Well, I might be back here really soon, depending on if it's either for my birthday or uh, some other time, you know. Uh, I haven't been on some of the rides around here yet, except in a non thomas related in uh, Greater Manor, but I'm sure I'll give some of the rides a try around here. Like, well, I hope so. Yeah, me too. 
Well, off you go and have some more fun. And thank you very much, Sir bye Tarvin. Bye. On House Lady Hat, by the way. Oh, she's splendid, yes. Oh, uh, yes, sir. She's looking good as a ritual. Oh, no. I hope I could get to meet Farmer McCall himself if he was at Farmer McCall's farm. Oh, well, you never know. You know, he's usually oh, taking Christmas. care of his farm. And have a... Oh. Thank you. And goodbye. A postcard. <coughs> That's oh, this postcard. Oh yes. Those. Well, we need to buy those first. Yeah, that's fine. Right. I like this picture. Do you? Uh, yeah. Uh, yes. Really? Em Thomas, Emily, and Bertie. Want to get that also on your side? Yeah. Yes. Uh, yes. It's fifty p. That's yeah. very cheap. Right. I'll sign it for you. Yeah, yeah you're getting signed. Uh, Thank you. Right, would you like it signed in the front or the back? Well, uh, I don't mind the, the front if you please. Front. Thank you, sir. There we go. That was too so Splendid. Thank Splendid you. Splendid indeed. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure, young man. Uh, as I did said before, Keep your railways on dry rails and good running. Well, I'm so glad, but it's the leafy season coming up. We don't like that very much. Oh, <laughs> especially with the delaying trains. Oh, uh, no, we don't like confusion or delay. No. Well, you enjoy the rest of your day? Yep, I do. <laughs> especially if you don't want to uh, be getting dirty or being late, like uh, you know, that way you trying to get to Lady Hat's birthday party, but you ends up yeah. getting dirty. I know, poor Lady Hat. I know, but you just arrived on time in the end, just in the nick of time. Indeed, I did, and I'm still glad. Did you manage to go on any rides? We went on the train. Oh, well, that's all right. Bye, Sir Topham, and nice to meet you. Steam roller. Now I'm back home from Drayton Manor, Thomas Land, and it was my first day at Drayton Manor actually, and I think it was really amazing day out, you know. And Thomas Land was a really great place, which is a home of a Drayton Manor for Thomas fans. Yes, it reminds me of Disneyland, and that's why I've been to Disneyland Paris until October 2005, but slightly different. But it doesn't matter. I enjoyed Thomas Land. 
especially in this Gavis Thomas and Friends exhibition anyway. I like seeing the exhibition the most, as well as the Troubles in the Trucks roller coaster. Anyways, to end this video, it is time for me to go to bed now. Oh, I must have forget one more thing. There's also a signature with uh, the back controller. I already put the autograph on, and I put and hammered it on a wall so nobody will rip it off. You want to take a look at that last time? Well, here you go. Here it is. A few nails, which is an I did attempt to bend. And the bottom, the bottom ones were okay. I'm sorry. It's just, you know. It is a very splendid signature, an autograph that is atop a mat deed. Thanks to him, such a gentleman. Anyways, uh, now it's time for me to go to bed. Good night, everybody. <coughs>